What makes a truly great wild bird photograph? In the event of the 10th anniversary of the Wild Bird Photographers of the Philippines, WBPP co-founder Elaine Pasqua presents Going Beyond Photo Documentation, Elements of a Great Bird Photograph. ginawa ko rin itong category. One is created in the field. The other one is developed in post-processing. Dalawang hati yan. Pag hindi mo nakuha sa field, hindi mo na makukuha sa post-processing yan. So, meron mga ilang items yan. So, created in the field. And the first one is spot-on sharpness. This is the first element of a great photograph. Spot-on sharpness. Kita nyo naman yung sample niyan. Kita mo yung eyelashes, kita mo yung mata, kita mo yung mga feather details. These are all uh, sharpness that we need. And if you get a blurred photo, tapon mo na. Wala na tayong magagawa doon kahit sa post-processing. You go back to the field and get sharp photos. Second element is the best quality of light or proper exposure. Usually, golden hours yan. You start at 6 a.m., you finish at 9. You start again at uh, 3 or 4 p.m., you finish at 6, kung kaya pa ng uh, lens mo. Kung, kung mag-shoot ka between 9 a.m. hanggang 3 p.m., make sure na yung ibon ay nasa shade. Hindi siya directly uh, lit by sunlight, kasi harsh na yan. Nandyan na yung blown, tsaka burn portion that you can no longer recover. So these are some samples. Uh, one lang pala ito, hindi pa ako humingi ng permission nung kumuha ko ng mga sample, dinevelop ko lang ito kaninang umaga. At uh, later on, baka may mga maling mga photographs, I have to ask permissions later on on the photographers. Okay. The third one is correct head angle. The bird should be looking at the camera. The bird should be looking at the photographer. No, hindi pwedeng nakatalikod yung ulo ng ibon. Tapos yan nakatingin sa'yo. If you will get a perfect photograph of the head angle, pumunta ka sa kaliwa, pumunta ka sa kanan, nakatingin pa rin sa'yo yung ibon. Next, I, you showcase the specialties and the unique features of the bird. Kung bleeding heart siya, ipakita mo yung bleeding heart. Kung rocket tail siya, ipakita mo yung rockets. Dahil yan yung kanyang special feature. What's the use of getting a bleeding heart kung hindi mo naman nakikita yung bleeding heart niya? Hindi siya exciting. Kailangan ma-capture mo yung kanyang unique feature. Natural perks. Don't get birds na nandun sa wire, nandun sa semento, nandun sa uh, kung ano-ano pang unnatural na nakikita natin. Don't waste time. Unless you would want to change the perks later on, then okay. Pero kung puro wire, poste, concrete, wag na. Why? Because birds are associated with nature, with wilderness. And you have to show that kind of habitat that they have. Select creamy and non-destructing background. Yan. Palaging marami sa atin na palaging busy backgrounds. No? Bakit kinakailangan creamy? Bakit kinakailangan maganda yung background? So that the focus of the viewer is entirely on the bird, not on the busy background. Nadidivide yung attention pag magulo ang background. Unless the background complements the bird, especially in habitat shots, meron niyang mga exemption. No? Pero in essence, ganyan dapat ang uh, background natin. Ito ang sample na inilaban ko sa first uh, bird sa start competition ni Art Morris. Hindi ako nanalong first place. Second place lang ako. Dahil ang sabi ni Art Morris, your background is too busy. Too busy na yan sa kanila. Kaya sabi nila, kung ipinresent mo ng ganito, yung nasa kanan, ikaw yung nag-number one. Because you got the contact of the eyes, you got the crest uh, spread, tapos maganda yung background mo. Pero natalo ka nung hindi magandang background. Noisy background na ang tingin nila dyan. Busy background na. O kaya second place lang ang napanalunan ng photograph na yan. Select human-like features. Ito yung mahirap kunin. Yung bang ibon ay tumatawa. Siya ba ay parang hari, kingly? O siya ba ay sad, umiiyak? 
Have you captured that kind of characteristic of the bird? Why do I tell you this? The birds have no characteristic like human, but the viewer are all human. And basis natin palagi ng beauty ay characters of humanity. Masaya ba siya? Sexy ba siya? Lalaking lalaki ba siya? Babaeng babae ba siya? Graceful ba siya? Yan yung kinakailangan natin makapture kasi nasanay na yung ating perception ng beauty ng mga tao at ng karakter ng mga tao. You capture value-added elements. May dagdag ba yung ibon? Katulad ng may bulaklak ba? Meron bang uh, webs? Meron bang raindrops? Meron bang ulan? These are some of the added value that makes the bird alive and makes your photograph greater than being dull. No? You capture both looks and substance. Hindi lang yung action. Pag kinuha mo yung action, dapat maganda yung action. You, you see the first photograph, it's an action shot, but there's no grace on it, there's no beauty on it. You get the second photograph, that is the kind of action shot that we would want. Yung isa, ganun din. So, makikita nyo ngayon, yung inyong action shot exudes already the impact at mas lasting yung kanyang effect. So, looks and substance, not just looks. I-summarize natin ito. These are the elements created in the field. No? Spot on sharpness, best quality of light, proper exposure, correct head angle, specialties and unique features of the bird, the natural perks, select creamy and non-distracting background, human-like features, value-added elements, and looks and substance. Improve natin ito para we can set the bar of what we will get in the field. Baka kasi may dadagdag pa tayo, open pa, pwede pa nating i-develop. No? I would like to make uh, these elements actually standards for WBPP so that we have a bar to follow. And these are those elements that can be captured in the field. These are the elements developed in post-processing. Achieve accurate colors. What is the color or what are the colors of the birds that your mind remember? Not what the camera will capture. Because the camera is a limited machine. Your mind has infinite uh, mechanics. Kaya nga sabi natin, shoot in raw. Kasi sa raw, nakukuha lahat ng colors. At pag pinroses mo yung raw, makukuha mo yung nakita mong kulay ng ibon, hindi yung JPEG na pinroduce ng camera, kasi yun usually oversaturation yan. Kung kanon yan, minsan may magenta cast. Pag Nikon yan, meron yung green cast. Uh, pag other camera, may ibang blue cast. Kasi hindi perfect yung mga sensors. Mas yung mind ang makaka-perfect. Siyempre, pag kinalibrate mo naman yung laptop mo at saka yung computer mo, dapat calibrated din yung kulay. Baka kasi tingin mo eh, uh, hindi pa siya oversaturated, pero pagdating sa ibang mga monitor, saturated na siya. So we need to calibrate also our laptops and our desktops. No? Another one is apply the rule of thirds. Usually, ito hindi natin uh, ginagawa, but, but this is the classic one. Uh, the, apply the rule of thirds, give the bird breathing space in its front, whether to fly into or to walk to. Bigyan mo siya ng space. Huwag yun napakalaki niya o napakaliit niya. And usually, the rule of thirds is always the best rule pagdating sa where to place the bird. Make a poetic presentation and composition. Ito, yung isang pinakamahirap. Put your soul into your uh, photograph. What do you want to achieve? How do you get the wow effect? No? And what kind of photograph you would want to present? No? Gawin mong buhay yung iyong photograph. And you put poetry there. You put song there. You put the soul. Do background rendering. If you are doing background rendering, do it right. Now, I'm not telling you it's wrong. Uh, because it will be your own ethics that will define that. 
But if you will do background re rendering, if you will separate the bird from busy background, do it right. Big sabihin, yung sharp edges make it sharp, but the soft edges make it soft. And your background should be there to uh, help the bird stand out. Another one, you add value added elements. You put another uh, element there to make the bird stand out or to complement it. Hindi naman ganyan dati nung kinunan eh. Oh, pero, pwede mo silang pagsamahin, ipakita mo lahat yung magaganda. Pakita mo lahat yung uh, flowers. Again, depende na naman yan sa iyong sariling ethics. Will you allow yourselves to manipulate your photos to make it excellent and give way to natural history into digital arts or uh, altered reality. Nasa bawat isa yan. No, nobody is imposing it. You avoid 100% perfection. Huwag yung too good to be true. Yung masyadong creamy yung background. Medyo may dark naman ng konti, may light naman ng konti. Hindi yung masyadong perfect yung 100% mo yung na napakaganda yung habitat mo. Sometimes, it will turn out na pag ginawa mong smooth yung iyong background, 100% siyang smooth, just add 10% or 20% noise. Or opacity. Huwag mo masyadong 100%, mag 80% ka lang para lumabas pa rin yung mga imperfections. No? Give a title, define the message, tell the story. I asked uh, Wins, ano yung pinakamaganda niyang caption? Yan yung sinabi niya. Hindi ko lang nilagay wins yung picture kasi the picture will not give justice to the write-up. No? No. No. Sometimes, it will come out from, from the photographer's written account, the better version of the photo. Lalong-lalo na kung siya nagsasalita. But sometimes, the author will let the bird talk. Let the birds talk na pag sinulat mo, sila naman yung nagsasalita. So you have two versions of it. You either write your story the way a photographer tells that story, or you let the bird talk, and they tell their own story. But the, uh, the, the element here that we want to emphasize is, you give the title, you define the message, and then you tell the story. Develop in post-processing, you achieve accurate colors, you apply the rule of thirds, make a poetic presentation and composition, do background rendering right, add value-added elements, avoid 100% perfection, give title, define the message, tell the story. Now, what is an excellent bird photograph? Pag ako tatanungin, all 16 elements should be there in one photograph. If you are a natural history disciple, all 14 elements should be there. Not just one, two, or three, or majority of it, but all. If we can set a bar like this in WBBP, we will be guided in our postings. Huwag na kayong mag-post ng document lang. Mag-post tayo ng excellent photographs. Because our excellent photographs will convey the message that we would want to give to our viewers. Pag document lang, tignan lang, ayos na, wala na, tapos. Oh. Pero pag excellent ang photograph mo with the message, pasok yan sa kanila. And who will define that message? Tayo. Kayo. Kung anong klaseng message ang gusto natin na ibigay sa kanila. So, yan lang po. Ang uh, great, great bird photographs. Go to the field and do away with photo documentation. Thank you.